we're in the middle of a deluge of, of bad news right now. Yeah, you're right. I mean, obviously, the market's forward looking. I think it's interesting because I actually think there's probably a little too much greed in the equity market now, but you've got still fear in the real economy. And it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Certainly, equities are telling you that we are going to start to see an uptick in economic activity. But, you know, that's going to be yet to be determined the time frame of that and what, what degree we're going to see the uptick in the real economy. Right. So what is your base case right now? I mean, what do you think the market's pricing in? Oh, I think the market's probably pricing in some version, maybe not a V, but a U hmm. coming out of this. And, and I think it's probably a little too uh, aggressive uh, in that. My, my view is that, hey, clearly we're going to get some type of uptick in economic activity, given that the economy basically stopped. But, you know, it's not going to be a V. It's going to be, you know, we throw out sort of a, a reverse J or something to the effect. You'll get a recovery, but then we're going to have to kind of for a more gradual uptick. Yeah, but Margie, it's interesting that everybody seems to have the same point of view, which is, you know, I, I was just pointed out, the consensus thinks the stock market is ahead of itself and the economy won't be as strong. You know, what if that consensus is wrong? What if the stock market is right? Well, I think the uh, stock market right here is really driven by short-term, a lot of trading-oriented money back and forth, a lot of big swings up and down, rather than the fundamental direction. And I think that uh, really what we're going to see over the next few months is a market that goes up and down a lot and doesn't really make any big advances or go down. What I look at what the Fed has done is just provide a liquidity bridge from when the bottom fell out of most businesses giving them the liquidity to operate until we come out on the other side of the coronavirus and we start to see the business community healing. And uh, then we'll be in a position to look for higher earnings. But that's several quarters away at this point. Margie, that said, you guys are buying uh, some of these junk bonds uh, here that you think offer, you know, appreciation and, and you know, yields and, and uh, are attractive right now. This, as the Fed, of course, has said that it will step in and support that, those aspects of the market without having uh, launched anything major just yet. Yeah, well, I don't think you need anyone to really come into the high-yield market. If you look at, say, the top quarter, the top third of the high-yield market, those companies are in good shape. They have the liquidity to operate either positive cash flow or money on the books to operate uh, until their earnings improve and uh, will be not bankruptcy risks at all because they have fundamental good businesses. And those, I think, are pretty attractive because you can get a yield of 6%. A lot of those bonds are trading at 90 cents on the dollar. So over the next 12 months, you could be looking at approaching double-digit rates of return. That might be pretty attractive and pretty high competition against an equity market that is still sloshing around, uh, not going anywhere. And I guess implied in that is an economic recovery. Margaret, can you give any names uh, or names that you wouldn't recommend uh, the junk bonds in? Well, I think rather than specific names, I'd say that the weak sectors are, are still to be avoided. They aren't bargains, even at these very low prices. So we're avoiding uh, retailing, gaming, travel, uh, anything in the energy space. We okay. think the risk is much too high, so we're not looking at that. We're looking at industrials uh, in the healthcare space, uh, utility space, things like that, where they're going concerns. Sure. Jack, I, I know you didn't, didn't look like you liked my consensus comment, so I'll come back to you to, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> to, re to respond. Yeah, because, hey, I, look at the bond market, you know, treasuries. I mean, treasuries, hey, in a world of it was truly healing, which, you know, equity markets are pricing that in, I think treasury yields would be higher. Uh, and they're not. And, yeah, I know the Fed's buying them. They cut back. But uh, I think the, the bond market is a more powerful signal than what equities are telling us. All right. Jack McIntyre and Margie Patel, thank you both talking markets with us today.